Good morning, strong ones. I want to encourage you by answering this question. What do you do when you have initiated a faith action but have not seen results? Well, if you become skillful in waiting with patient endurance, there will never be a time when you'll not see a harvest from the seeds you've sown in faith. Just as a farmer must wait after sowing his field before harvesting his crop, there is a process to faith that demands a period of waiting before harvest time. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8 tells us that there is a time for things to happen. For example, Acts 12, 12 through 16, people were praying for Peter's release from jail. After he was freed from prison and he came knocking at their door, they were too busy praying to receive him. The time for prayer was over. It was time to receive. So in order to avoid frustration and the temptation to quit, remember that there is a due season and an appointed time for every harvest. In Mark 4, 26 through 29, Jesus compares God's kingdom to a man sowing seeds, thereby demonstrating the law of progression. The law of progression is first the blade, then the ear, and finally the full ear in the corn. Once the progression has concluded, prepare your sickle for the harvest. For any harvest, someone must first cast his seed into the ground. He must continue to be attentive to his crop. The farmer understands the progression of the seed. Once it is sown, he knows his crop should grow. Like a farmer, you sow seed through your confession of the word and by your actions. As long as you do not dig it up, your seed will grow and produce a mighty harvest. Resist the temptation to give up and quit in regards to God's word. Galatians 6, 7 through 10 tells you not to be deceived. God said that you would reap a harvest from whatever you sow. Because you know that God is not a liar, you can believe and know that his promises will come to pass. Remember, do not become weary in well-doing or lose heart or courage. As you continue to pray and wait expectantly upon the Lord, you will receive your promise in due season. As you wait expectantly upon the Lord, don't remain idle. Give God your full attention and service. Praise Him during this time. Isaiah 40, 28-31 says, They that wait, praise, brighten up, shout and turn around, on the Lord will have their strength renewed. They'll mount up on wings like eagles and run without weariness. The key to being successful during your time of waiting expectantly is to act like the crop has already been harvested and begin to praise God no matter what the situation looks like. Stir yourself up and encourage yourself in the Lord your God. Well, God bless you guys. If you were encouraged today and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate. I love you in the Lord and am praying for you today.